Hey everyone, it's Gabby. Um, I'm casting a 3v3 right now. So I have literally no idea how I'm going to cast this mess. It's like, you know, there's six people, man. I, I can't remember six names at once, so whatever. I'm just going to I'm just gonna say colors, probably. Um, or, or nothing, and just <laughs> see what's happening. Maybe I'll put up production, just because it'll be a complete mess, and we'll see. So we have two people not doing anything right now. We've got blue, and we've got red. So it looks like two of our Zerg players, the only two Zerg players, are not uh, are not making anything. So seven, yeah, seven pool, seven pool. Gonna have some really early uh, Zerglings out there. Um, we'll have to see how that goes. Uh, what else have we got going on? I'm thinking if we are gonna use it again. What does that mean? Is that is it even English? Don't know. I mean, like... We got, uh... So we got... Protoss, Terran, Protoss. So we got PPT against ZZT. So two Protoss and a Terran versus, uh... Versus two Zerg and a Terran. So, gonna be very different gameplay styles, and we'll have to see. Um... If Maniac goes Mothership. So obviously this is a bit of an older game. I mean, you can tell just by this stuff, but... Um, someone sent me this and said it was really good, so I don't know. We'll just have to see. It's one of my buddies. Uh, I don't know if, if you guys watch anything else I've done, but... I had this one buddy who sent me this weird gold game to cast, and there was nothing special about it, so I have no idea why he did it. But it was not that guy. So... Uh, this was my other friend. Uh, not that I only have two, but, but you know what I mean. So here come our first... Uh, set of zerglings, both players sending out zerglings, um, and we'll see. Yep, they see the six pool now. Uh, they know that something's going on, and I wonder if they know that there's a double six pool though. They know about one, but, uh, but let's see. Let's just take a look quick at. Uh, yeah, they know. So we're gonna have some serious problems here, I think, for. Yeah, for, for our purple player, um, Primeval going for a little bit of defense help, but yeah, purple might be in trouble here. We've got one Zealot, and otherwise, I think he's just going to have to pull probes and hope for the best. Uh, a cannon coming in, uh, we've got drones trying to hold that choke. Yeah, there you go, guys, but still not looking very good. They've just got to kind of hold off until that cannon finishes, that's the important thing. They're not going to be able to darn it, eh? Um, let's see what's going on here. We've got... Oh, nice. We've got uh, Orange really helping out. Trying to, anyways. Uh, to get a bunker up. Because once that bunker's up, and they clear this out, they're safe. So, we've got a Photon Cannon about to finish. He doesn't care anymore. He's leaving it. Because that is the end of that. Once that cannon's up, it's clean. So, they're going to try and kill it, but they will be unable to. And Orange has got his... Has got his back. So, that's that. Cleaned up. Six pool done. Now that puts the Zerg in an interesting position because they will have had to, they, they will have not been able to, sorry, drone this whole time. So they're sitting at 9 and what? 9 and, oh, and looks like, was there some action over here? No, okay, sorry. So 9 and uh, and 12. Uh, and now they want a nuke. I guess he's mad because you got all f***ed around with by those by those guys. So, uh, so he wants to nuke. Let's see what's going on for yellow. They both 6 pulled. That's right, they did. That is a dirty maneuver got some serious aggression outside of Yellow's base now too. And that's actually pretty good because um, what they did was they kind of drew everyone up to Purple's area and now they've got a long walk down here so they're probably going to be able to shut down this uh, this base for a little bit. I mean they've already got the gateway shut off. They're going for, going for probes, drones, probes, and whatever they're called. I think they are. Which is okay, I guess, but, I mean, at this point, you need to, uh, you need to just focus on, like, pounds or something and play them as much as you can, because you're not going to be able to catch the probe, and, uh, you know reinforcements are on the way, so you want to do as much damage as you can. Looks like Orange has got defense again, uh, this is not going to be able to get out, we've got more guys walking in here that are just going to have to turn around and go home, uh, both attacks shut down. Let's see how the Zerg are catching up here, we've got, uh, Drone count rising, but really still like six and uh, and none. Am I missing something here? What are you doing, Red? I mean, you have, you have barely anything. 
Huh. Oh, I guess we got the expansion going, so that's gonna account for those six lings that uh, the blue has. Uh, so we've got the expansion started. Uh, let's see what else we've got. Wall offs going. Um, looks like we got warp gate uh, done for our Protoss player, one of them, and we got Dark Shrine coming in, which is an interesting choice. That's going to be really powerful again because of the uh, the six pull really put them behind, and they've got Spine Crawlers and Rotor, and that's it. I mean, they're nowhere near uh, Observers. There goes the the lair right now uh, coming in. Down here we've just got a hatchery. Uh, looks like we might be... Yep, yeah, yeah, there it is. There's the lair. So they're both going lair tech. Uh, I don't know if they scouted that or if they just had a hunch, but uh, maybe they can they can pull out an observer or something uh, and go from there. Me, Mass Colossus. I love it when people can't speak English because it's hilarious. Me, Mass Colossus. Me, DT, then Mothership. It's like cavemen playing in RTS. Um, you know, interesting fact, because it was... I only know this because it was in the... Uh, in the description um, that, that my buddy linked me to, the uh, guys on our right hand side, our purple, orange, and yellow uh, players, our PPT team, are old RA3 players, so Red Alert 3. I, I had to look it up because I didn't know what it was. I'd, I'd never played it. But uh, they know each other pretty well, and uh, and they are really pissed about this six pool. <laughs> I mean, they're like still going on about it. Uh, oh my gosh, Maniac has so much gas that he can... Oh no, he's asking for it, I gotcha. Let's see what's going on here. We've got some old Banshee in the base of Maniac. We've got our yellow uh, Protoss. It's got one kill. Wow. That means that it wasn't managed very well. Typically, uh, you'll see a Cloak being activated and at least, you know, more than one kill. Oh, DTs are out. Uh, and we've got, let's see if we've got any Overseers coming in. Um, no, we don't, I don't think. No Overseers. Oh, yeah, we've got one coming in for red. Uh, I just don't know where it is. So that's going to be happening soon. But in the meantime, say goodbye to your base. It looks like maybe, maybe not. One hit. Yeah, you got it. So he's going to lose those, but worth it. Setting red further behind. Um, blue, however, a little bit of a different situation. Blue has got... Uh, this this expansion untouched and uh, he's in pretty good shape. He's going Spire next it looks like. But he's still only on one base technically at this point. I mean he's, he's not mining from this one. Uh, his resource income is going to be like one base so so I don't know. We've got a Raven coming in for Teal so I, I mean we haven't seen much out of Teal this game. He's just kind of been sitting back uh, building like as many STVs as he can possibly click I guess. Um, I mean I'm I don't like the ship click and select minerals, that's annoying. Still got more of them. Um, what have we got here? We've got Starport's making more Banshees. There go the Banshees around back here, cloaked and everything, so that's really annoying. And that's dangerous too. I mean, eight, four, six kills, so a lot of kills on those Banshees. But uh, I think that Labby is going to be able to clean that up, no problem. We just need to scan from one of the Terrans and, and those will be taken care of. So there it is, so hopefully they can shoot these, kill them, get them done, yep, there it goes, out of energy anyways, and that red is cleaned up. Red's going for a re-expand here, gonna get going with that. Uh, Blue smartly has his uh, Overseer ready to go, his Detector ready to go, um, and looks like we got some Colossi and some Zealots, which is an interesting combo, pretty powerful. If you can get them, the uh, enemy to focus fire on your Zealots and kind of tank while you take out their ground forces. So let's kick them. Let's see. I don't know what that means, but let's see what's going on. Uh, we've got uh, a little pickup going on here, just picking up a drone, killing it. Uh, a lot of people like that type of play. I mean, I don't. I think that when you're, when you're using these, you can harass so well. Like, he could have flown in there picked that up and killed it and there's nothing else there to defend um, also could have well there's an engagement here let's focus on that we'll talk about how much better he could be playing later let's see what else we've got here it's like a lot well Clavy hasn't really gotten in this yet so it looks like Clavy's open to get in on it uh, we've got a starport it's a rally point set there which is oh from when the uh, Terran attacked and then Let's see what we've got. Oh, there's our mothership on the way too, uh, which is interesting. And we've got a bit of an engagement down here. See the, the 
beautiful thing about uh, Phoenixes is they can do so much harassing and Zerg. I can mean, give a couple of them. Oh, what do we got here? Mandalore with his. We've got Colossus. First Colossus falling. Uh, we need the we need backup from these Marines who aren't really doing anything. Uh, luckily, uh, Purple came up and sort of backed them up. Uh, looks like we're gonna have a few more Banshees to deal with, but they'll be cleaned up and some new ones on the field again. Here, needing to get cleaned up. I'll watch those Banshees because Cloak can, can be pretty dangerous against any type of army, um, as long as it's ground based, obviously. So, gotta be careful. Oh, Clavy losing all these as they warp him right away, pretty much. No sort of lag time there. And Phoenix has to take off or it's gonna get taken out. Pretty good micro, though. I mean, able to, to do quite a bit of damage, but not quite get too many kills. It's got four kills, which is pretty good for, for one of those. So, looks like we've got Mothership and ghost coming in so interesting i mean i don't know what the mothership's going to be uh, used for uh, unless they can somehow get like a congregate of all the enemy units that'd be pretty cool and then luckily i'm down or something um I, that's got to be the only thing they can do i mean there's no reason to have those two units sitting alone oh here we go never mind they've got more units coming up uh meeting up uh, and, and we'll see where it goes from here. But still, a pretty small contingent with the mothership. I mean, motherships are most powerful when you have uh, a lot of units underneath them because they're all cloaked and they can just destroy things so quickly. And Lord's moved into a little bit more mech. He's got his tank out, sieged. Uh, looks like we're about to have an engagement up here. Oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> they are doing that silly thing. It's kind of ridiculous. Pull that out of there, you don't want that getting nuked. Uh, mothership getting dangerously close. I wonder what the timing's like on that. Wow, it's like perfectly timed. That is craziness. So who gets the kills for that? Is that the ghost? Yep, 15 kills. Hollow point, GG's. And that was awesome, good game. That's it, why are they... Oh, I guess they're signaling where to attack. It's pretty crazy. They called the GG already. I don't think anyone's leaving, but uh, <laughs> call the GG. There they go. Well, thanks for watching, guys. That was a pretty cool game. That was a neat strat at the end there with just the uh, the Mother Lord and the uh, and the new. That's interesting. I did think they were actually going to do it. I've only seen it a couple times before, but it worked out really well. The timing is is pretty cool too. Uh, you have to be really good with it, I guess. Really great communication between the teams. All right, I'm gonna end it here, guys, because there's not really much else to watch. So thank you very much.